Good morning everyone and welcome to Kegworth Baptist Church. Uh, it's something a bit different this morning. Uh, as many of you know we're a supporting church of the Christian Motorcyclist Association and yesterday I was attending one of the uh, rock and bike rallies that we do, the Rock and Bike Festival in Alfreton. Uh, it's probably the biggest one that we do as a branch and it's uh, we've got to know a lot of people over the years running the cafe the holy joe's cafe so i've just done a a few uh, brief interviews with people that go asking them what they like about the uh, holy joe's cafe that that we run at the at the rock and bike festival so i hope you enjoy watching it and uh, i'll speak to you in a bit Hi everyone, I've uh, I've just got to the the CMA tent at the Rock and Bike Festival. One of the first people I've bumped into is Paul, who's uh, who's a real character, as you can see. He's a pirate, and uh, I was just asking Paul what he thought of the uh, the Holy Joe's the CMA tent. So uh, he was saying you, you find it comforting. Yeah. Yeah, looks like so. And uh, like I say, you've got hobbies with bikes and stuff like that. You know, you expect it, you know. Yeah. We've all bikes. got something in common, haven't we? Yeah. At this place. Like I say, you've got. You can be yourself, you know. You can just talk. If you want to be, or just sit there. Yeah. If it's anything, you can just be there. It's just chilled, yeah. isn't it? And yeah. Yeah, and we have a chat. And, and uh, like I say, you just. You know, it's like Sunday service, you know. Yeah. I'll see you next week, Vicar. No. Not quite that, right, are <laughs> No, I no, was amazed myself. Nah. Okay. You know, we're a big tent one, isn't it? And then, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I do. It's Can amazing. you just, uh, just show everyone your big? Because it's that impressive. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Anyway, great to meet you, Paul. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can no, no, Bill. No. Yeah. So, so we here today then? Yeah. Hey, old... oh, we've got uh, Paul and PJ, Paul, PJ, and Sarah here. They've uh, <laughs> that's a land. The regular, regular um, at Holy Joe's at this festival. Obviously, it's not been on for a couple of years, but they've been coming to Holy Joe's for years. So, I just wanted to. To ask them really, what they like about uh, Holy Joe's at the at the festival. Well, what do you think? What is it about Holy Joe's? Yeah. Well, it, we we came we came on Thursday and uh, we parked the van and the first place we came was here because we remembered from um, last time. I think it was 2019, the last time we came before the lockdown, and um, and it was quite a nasty night. We were staying in the tent. And we thought, let's go up there and get a warm and have a uh, and have a warm drink sort of thing. So, and we came up and it was it was so lovely. Everybody were really nice, um, really really friendly. Um, great, made us feel really welcome. And it's just a, like I say, it's just a nice place to go to just chill out really. When especially if you've been listening to music all night and yeah, you, need you it, just want to yeah yeah, it's just somewhere to just settle your head down a little bit um as i say we come in after each uh, after each night we, we, we've, we've been in and um and if you come don't forget the uh, legendary um hot chocolate, hot chocolate free biscuits yeah. with uh, or you get free biscuits as well with your tea which is bonus and the deluxe uh, hot chocolate you get a flake and oh you get a flake whipped and cream. Uh, yeah whipped cream and marshmallows it's <laughs> honestly god if you went to starbucks it cost you about eight quid so it's uh, yeah so it's a bargain so bargain can be uh, highly recom highly recommended highly oh, recommended thanks for that and uh, no no problem we hope, we hope we see you for years to come oh we'll be here every year yeah, absolutely yes. yeah Absol right. absolutely nailed on yeah no quality thank cheers you very thank much. you Hi, I'm uh, I'm sat here with uh, Austin. Austin's uh, been coming to the Holy Joe's for for years now. I mean, he he used to come with his uh, two friends, Wally and Paul. But um, 
Yeah. Well, we can't. It was Wally Pass. Wally Pass in 2018. Yeah. So Wally passed away in 2018, and Paul Paul died in 2020. So Austin used to come come here with them every year, and uh, he's on his own this year, which is imagine it's quite strange for him but uh, we've always seen him in the, in the Holy Joes and I, I was just going to ask um, Austin what, what he likes about Holy Joes what, what is it that you know that you Wally and Paul always brought you in here well, we, when, we first, when we first came we were second because of the place initially yeah but we like the ethos of the place we like the fire cars the staff are always nice and pleasant it is um, you know, we knew that it was, an, it was a non-profit making organisation, we knew it was making a money for the charity, so it was a good cause. So, you know, all around we're happy and, you know, we finished it. My memory is a, a really good one, but I understand it all. And, and I've got a picture of it here in the minute. A picture of us being in the big tent over there in Nelson Castle. So, we've created quite a few of the rallies. And we've met, you know, talked to all the years, haven't we? Yeah, and we, we all get to know each other, don't we? And we get biscuits. It's a good cause, it's a Christianity, it's a good cause, it's a good nominated charity. And we just love the whole ethos of it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got a sort of uh, a laid back feel, hasn't it? You know, when you come out of the festival and. Oh yes, somewhere, somewhere to calm down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get your back together. <laughs> Come and see you. We'll collect your thoughts and get over July. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially at the end of the festival. You can absolutely. Come in and try and get back to normality. Yeah, absolutely. At all 100%. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a diamond in the, diamond in the rough. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of us here. <laughs> Anyway, thanks, thanks for that, Austin. No problem, you're quite yeah. welcome. And yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah, we'll see you. It. We'll see you next year. Absolutely. God willing. God willing. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, just to finish, I'm with Alex now, who's one of my uh, brothers in, in CMA. And uh, one of my favourite people in CMA, I have to say. But his, his bites, one of my favourite bites, he's got this lovely uh, heritage, Harley Davidson. Um, but I was just going to put with Ember, I'll just ask Alex what he thinks it is about uh, Holy Joe's that, that makes it so popular. As others have probably said, you know, rather than doing any overt Bible bashing, as it were, we're providing a service which hopefully that in itself, you know, um, is enough to um, make people realise we're there, you know. Yeah, that. we're sort of serving them, aren't we? Really? Yeah, I suppose we are really, yeah. Because, I mean, we don't really make, well, we do make a bit of, sort of, profit for the charity, as it were. Yeah, it goes to but charity. We don't, um, but we don't, um, you know, that's not our reason to be here like it is with most, with normal trade stands. So, I think, yeah, I think, um, I would say that just by being here and being regular and, you know, we're, we're here year on year. And yeah, the, we've uh, built a lot of relationships. Yeah, yeah, you build up relationships with the, and people that come every year, sort of get to know who we are, and, and uh, so I think on quite a few levels, it you know it does work very well. And I think that's why the organisers seem to keep asking us back, and, you know, seem to want us to, uh, to be there. It amazes me how well respected we are amongst the bikers. You know, there's a lot of people here that really have nothing to do with uh, the, the Christian church normally. That, that come in and they respect what we're about, don't they? And that is quite amazing, there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think we've become, you know, part of the furniture, and I think people would really miss us and wonder where we were if we if we well, were here. Well, I think they'd be lost. On the tour. Yeah.
alone can rescue, you alone can save, you alone can lift us from the grave. You came down to find us, let us out of death. To you alone belongs the highest praise. To you alone belongs the highest praise. So I hope that's gave you uh, something of an insight into what we do at Holy Joe's and uh, at the Rock and Bike Festivals as uh, the Christian Motorcyclist Association. And uh, I think it'd be good now if we pray for those people that are at the festival and uh, also look at ways in which we can speak to people in our own lives because I think it's often effective, whatever our identity is, our personality, whatever our interests are, they're often ways of finding a, a way into somebody else's life and where we can connect with them and then possibly uh, speak to them about our faith or or just show them our faith through through being channels of God's love to others. So I think our, our interests, our hobbies, um, something that we can help us relate to others are very useful in, uh, in helping us to speak to people about our faith. So let us pray. Lord, we thank you for all the interests that you give us in life, the things that we enjoy, and we pray that we may use those things as uh, as a tool to to reach to others to to bring your love to others lord to connect with people to form relationships and uh, help us to be channels of your love uh, through the interests that we have uh, we pray for the people at the rock and bike festival pray that they have a safe journey back today uh, traveling mercies upon them lord we ask and we pray for them all that come to the the holy joe's tent uh, over the years and year in year out lord we pray that they may be touched by you that uh, they may know your presence and that uh, you may come into their lives lord and that they may know you personally as lord and savior so we ask for your blessing to be upon the, the work of the CMA and upon the Holy Joes and uh, I just pray for the, the members of CMA Lord that you'll bless them and give them guidance and direction and Holy Spirit be with the CMA in all that we do. In Jesus name. Amen. And now we'll finish this morning by sharing the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.